Hello, my name is Roman G. Jashvili, and this lecture is about some of my old memorable games. This game was played against, back in Soviet Union, against also currently American GM Lev Albert in early 1970s, it's 73 or 74, maybe 72. Uh, it was played in USSR championship uh, and uh, it was Banco Gambit. Well, it started with knight f3, knight f6, d4, c5, d5, b5, and I'm going to tell you why it was memorable. The game was memorable to me because after uh, c4, g6, cb, a6, and b6. This is declined Benko Gambit, where white doesn't want to have an extra pawn, they, have some, they want to have some positional advantages. And again, what makes this game memorable for me, because I thought the game was played okay, and to my big surprise, uh, of course, in 72 or 73, we didn't have any chess engines, computers, and now when I looked at the game uh, with the Ripka, giving Ripka a long time to think, at a certain point, the attack was performed almost perfectly, and that that pleased me very much. It well, as any performer, I great I take a great pleasure from uh, my old work, and I see that uh, really it was played on high level, although it doesn't do me any good now, it doesn't make me now better or worse player, but it still gives me some personal satisfaction. So after a6, b6, black it does not rush with taking pawn on b6, knight c3, knight bd7. Now, let me tell you what is the idea of uh, playing b6. We don't want black to go to c6. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.